We just launched the best text-to-speech model in the world, 11v3. And before I show you how to use it to its full extent, here's an example of what you can achieve. 11 Labs United in their iconic black and white shirts, pushing forward with intent straight from the opening whistle. Driving down the wing, pace to Bernie, skips past one, skips past two. Oh, wow. Is this, is this me? Am I actually talking? <laughs> this is incredible. Okay, okay, this is happening. I mean, I'm actually going to the future. Like the future. Now currently, 11v3 is in alpha, which means it requires a bit more prompt engineering. But at 11 Labs, we've been testing this model extensively, and today we're going to share some best practices on how to get incredible sounding text-to-speech. In the 11 Labs text-to-speech tool, to use v3, you just want to click on the model drop-down menu and choose 11v3. Now, everything you generate will use the V3 model. Before we start, there's a couple of things you need to be aware of. Certain voices work better with V3 than others. This is why when you look for voices, we've put together a category called best voices for V3. Any of the voices here will work nicely with the new 11 V3 model. And secondly, the stability. This controls how closely the generated audio adheres to the original reference audio and the tags. The more creative you go, the more emotional and expressive, but prone to hallucinations, your audio generations are. Natural is the closest to the original voice recording. It's balanced and it's neutral. And then you've got robust. And the more robust you go, the more stable it is, but less responsive to directional prompts, similar to V2. First of all, the biggest upgrade is the emotional depth. V3 allows you to generate voice with full range of emotion, going from happy to sad, just like this. I just can't believe we made it, but I wish we were all here, you know? Next, we've added multi-speaker dialogue, which gives you the possibility to generate context-aware conversations with two or more voices that interact with each other. This makes text-to-speech conversations sound very fluid and realistic. <sighs> I've just had the worst day. Why? What happened? My stupid car broke down right before work, too. With the V2 language model, you could create AI voices in 29 languages, and 32 with V2.5. In V3, you can generate speech in over 70 languages, which is more than double. Créer du contenu avec la voix parfaite. And lastly, audio tags. And yes, I know, audio tags aren't new, but V3 introduces an unseen before level of control over the emotion, the direction, the speed, the delivery, and even the sound of your AI voice generations. All right, here we go. Let's get this crowd hyped. Cameras rolling and those algorithms blowing up. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the 11v3 demo of the year. We're going to look at new expressive audio tags. <laughs> Emotional range that is off the charts. And now that you know how tags work, let's look at some of the best practices. First of all, prompt length matters. V3 works a lot better with longer prompts. Anything under 250 characters can produce inconsistent results. Next, voice selection is crucial. Like I mentioned earlier, certain voices work better with V3 than others, so make sure to choose a voice from the V3 category. The third thing to pay attention to is to make sure you match the tags with the voice you've chosen. For example, if you've got a calm and quiet voice and you start adding angry and shouting tags to that generation, you'll get some inconsistent results. And finally, remember 11v3 is currently in alpha, so it does take a little bit of prompt engineering to get the result you're looking for. And remember that sometimes less is more. When you're adding too many tags, you can get some wild results. But now you know how v3 works. We look forward to seeing what you create with it. Go and try it. We'll see you soon.